Today's level two exercise is the balance beam. The balance beam can be the dog walk that you see in agility. It can be a retaining wall. In this case, I have a mini teeter-totter that I have balanced on two chairs, and this is gonna be my balance beam for today. The balance beam is to teach the dog, well, it's really to hone their peripheral vision, their depth perception, um, their lateral balance, so their ability to remain balanced while horizontal. And as a needed skill, if you're gonna do agility, it's a great confidence builder. So whatever you use as your balance beam, like I said, retaining wall, my mini teeter on two chairs or a board on two chairs. I do have this stabilizing peanut in the middle just to help it from bending too much in the middle or even the agility dog walk. We're gonna get her up here. Climb. Very good. Very good. Then we're gonna walk her all the way to the end. Very nice. And she can dismount. Phoenix free. Good. Girl. Turn around. Oh, that's tricky by itself. Yes. Very good. Baby. Three. Three. Good. So, like I said, it doesn't have to be fancy equipment. I also have these two human fitness steps, and I put them together to create a balance beam as well. It's actually good to teach them to do multiple items for confidence building, um, for full clarity and understanding. This one is so much lower to the ground, it'd be easier for her to step off. If she knows that she has to balance, then she does not step off. So it's good to do multiple different types of balance beam activities. Oh my goodness. I call it a blooper, but it's not really a blooper. It really, it demonstrates how important balance really is. As Phoenix jumps back up on here and it's completely unstable, she is not thrown off the equipment because she has excellent balance.